A creepy, true story. This happened to a friend of mine. She told me about it a year ago. We'll call her Minji. Minji is in her late 20s and she works as an English tutor in South Korea. One evening a few years ago, she was tutoring a high school boy. They were up studying pretty late and the buses stopped running. Being a long way from his house, the boy asked if he could crash on her floor overnight and get the first bus in the next morning. Minji was very reluctant because inviting a teenage male student to stay the night didn't sound like a great idea, but he was begging her and eventually she relented. They went back to her one-room apartment and she got into the bed while he laid a blanket out on the floor and they both fell asleep. A few hours later, maybe at 2 a.m., the boy wakes Minji up. I'm really hungry, he says. Let's go get some food. Minji opens her eyes and looks up at him in disbelief. Food? Now it's 2 a.m. Go back to bed. But the student insists. No, I'm so hungry. Let's go eat something now. She tells him that there's some ramen in the kitchen and he can fix himself some. This doesn't satisfy him. He doesn't want ramen. There's a 24-hour place just down the road. Let's go there. Eventually, after several minutes of persuasion, the boy gets Minji to come with him to the restaurant. They leave the apartment and head out. As soon as they're on the street, the boy turns to Minji and says, I'm not hungry. I woke up in the middle of the night and looked under your bed. There's a man sleeping there. They call the police and discover that a homeless man had been living in Minji's apartment, sleeping under her bed for over two months. The boy only saw him because he was lying on the floor, so he had a clear view under the bed. The police arrested the man, and thankfully there were no other issues, but that's by far the creepiest thing that's ever happened to anyone I know. Y'all, this ain't ghosts. This ain't monsters. This isn't this this is this is just disturbing. <laughs> the the creepy story, man. I mean, thank goodness that the the student persisted and and wouldn't give up on um getting her out of there in some way. But can you imagine? Like, this did not go at all the way I thought it was going to go. And at first, you know, I'm like the tutor is falling for something bad here. Like never take a student back to your house ever, 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 ever. But in this case, thank goodness she did because that's the only way she found out that there was a homeless guy living under her bed. And how, how, how did this guy remain like a hundred percent completely quiet that whole time and her not notice at all. That is wild, wild. It was two months. He was there for over two months. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Got it. Some of it. It's everywhere.